Hello guys and how are guys doing today and happy new year to everybody as my first video for this new year I will be showing you how to create a multi-boot USB drive so that you can boot a different operating systems uh, by, by using just a single USB drive so for this I'll be using the software called Ventoy so the software what uh, it does, does is it will create a USB drive which we can use to uh, copy a different operating systems or different ISOs of different operating systems and we can just use the single USB drive to boot uh, to any one of them uh, at any given time so you don't need to have a different uh, USB drive for each and every operating system that you have you can just have one USB drive for all of them so in this case uh, I'll be using this software for that and if I show you the interface this uh, after the creation is done uh, the interface will be something like this and so first you will have to have a USB drive uh, which is roughly around 64 gigabytes for this uh, thing uh, if it is if you're going to add multiple operating systems in my case I'll be using a 16 GB USB drive so this is the drive I'll be using and uh, so first we'll have to download the application so go to downloads and as I'm on Windows, I'm going to click Ventoy Windows.zip. So you'll be taken into the GitHub uh, page for that uh, download link. If you scroll down, you should be able to see the Ventoy 1.0.64 Windows.zip download link. Click on it and it will be downloaded automatically. So I have already downloaded this. If I go to my downloads and compressed, so this is the application that I just downloaded. Click on it and extract the uh, folder inside that so I'm going to extract this one onto my desktop okay if I go to my desktop I should be able to see the uh, folder that I just extracted so as I told before you will have to have a USB drive for this I will I will be using this one now if I open this folder I should be able to see the Ventoy 2 disk exe application and I'm just going to double click on it click yes so here you will be able to see the USB drive that you have just plugged in so make sure to uh, select the correct USB drive if not you will be uh, deleting or creating something that you don't want to create this uh, uh, this uh, disk onto so make sure the drive is selected properly so in my case this is the only drive that is connected to my pc so i can see the 16 db GB toshiba usb drive i'm going to select that and there are some more things that you need to do now if you are planning to run this or use this uh, usb drive on older pcs or legacy bios pcs uh, you don't need to do anything you can just click install if you plan to use this uh, usb drive on the devices which are using the newer uefi bios with uh, the partition type as partition table as mbr then you will have to select secure boot then only it will work if you are uh, using a system which uses gpt partition style with secure boot then you will have to select the partition secure boot and also you will have to select the gpt partition style in my case i will be using this on a system which uses both secure boot and the partition style as GPT so most of the newer PCs are using this configuration only the older ones use uh, only MBR without secure boot so it depends on your requirement so in my case I'll be using both secure boot and GPT so select them before creating the USB drive if not it will not work properly on your system so after selecting the proper configurations uh, what you now have to do is select the specific USB drive and click install so they are asking us whether to uh, format or not so all the data will be formatted from the USB drive uh, if you run this so make sure to back up any data that you have already inside in your USB drive in my case I have some data but I don't need them so I can just uh, format the drive so let's just click yes so they are making sure that we double check or not so in my case I don't need to double check I'm just going to click yes and now the USB drive is being formatted and the tool Ventoy is being copied onto the USB drive 
so the process is done click ok and that's all now if you have a uh, drive which is running an older version of Ventoy, you can just plug in that drive open this utility and click update so nothing will happen to the op uh, iuso files that you have already copied onto usb drive uh, only the Ventoy tool will be updated if not you can just run it uh, without any problem so now if we check you can see the drive here now if we go to our disk management you can see two uh, partitions created inside our usb drive so this is the uh, partition which uses or which uh, has all the ventoy uh, files uh, stored on and this is the partition where we'll uh, copy the uh, data and everything that we want so here what now what you have to do is you ha just have to go to one of your uh, iso folders and copy that in my case i will just show you by copying uh, let's just say this windows 10 application or iso i will copy this into my usb drive so it's been copied and after the copy function is done let's see how this boots on a normal newer uefi gpt partition style pc so now i am on my uefi bios interface so in most of the newer ones you might get the graphical user interface uh, uefi bios so in my case i have the older looking uh, uefi bios so anyway you have to go to the uh, uefi bios interface and select the option where you can uh, see the usb drive that we just created uh, with ventoy as a boot device so if i uh, go to my save and exit option i am able to see the plugged in usb device uh, under boot override so if i select this drive i am able to boot from ventoy and select the operating systems that i have already copied onto my usb drive so i'm just going to press enter so as you can see uh, I can select any any one of them from here so for this ex, uh, ex example i will be select windows 10 so like normal you are greeted with the press any key button and in a little bit you will be taken into the operating system so just like that we have created a usb drive where you can boot multiple operating systems very easily so i hope uh, this video was informative to you and i hope uh, you use this video as a guide to create a usb drive a single usb drive where you can use to boot multiple operating systems and uh, thank you guys for watching and like and subscribe my channel and see you around